So how do we know that scalp tension leads to hair loss? Well, basically, hair loss researchers came up with an ingenious way to test this idea of scalp tension compressing the dermal layer, leading to fibrosis, and thereby leading to hair loss. And if you haven't seen the full explanation of how that happens, then I'll link the video down below so you can go and watch that video, those videos, and you can watch the full presentation on um, what actually causes hair loss. So I'm just gonna focus in on this little part of the presentation. So what they did was, <clears throat> So what they did was inject the scalp perimeter muscles with a substance that causes what's known as flaccid paralysis. And uh, that's basically the scientific way of saying it causes the muscles to go completely relaxed for a period of three to five months, three to five months. So in essence, the muscles on the scalp perimeter, so at the front, the sides and the back, they made those muscles not be able to contract in any way. All the muscles could do was be completely paralyzed in a relaxed way. It's called a flaccid paralysis. Um, so they injected it right into those muscles that hold the scalp tight. And can you guess what happened? Any guesses? The participants started regrowing hair, basically like clockwork. It's absolutely crazy. Well, it, it, is, it isn't crazy when you understand why it happened. And by the way, this wasn't just a one-off study. The same study is being repeated again and again and again with incredible results. Unfortunately, the only downside is the substance that they used is incredibly expensive. So it must, it might cost, you know, $1,300 per session. So this treatment's never being commercialized, but you can see what happens. So just a little diagram, you can see where they injected it at the front, at the sides and at the back into these muscles that are holding the scalp, uh, the galea tightly. And you can see some of the photos uh, from these studies. So massive improvement here on the crown um that crown's just completely filled in <clears throat> this is very good improvement in overall thickness same here a fairly good improvement and here on the crown <clears throat> and here on the crown you can see a really good improvement again so lots of visible results from this procedure. And what they found was um, basically the mean, the mean hair count of the entire group showed a statistically significant increase of 18% between baseline. And what the author of the first study basically says is mechanistically, the scalp behaves like a drum skin with tensioning muscles around the periphery. And I won't read this whole thing. You can kind of read through it. Uh, you can pause the video and read through it, but they basically create a tight scalp when chronically active. And um, so this treatment essentially loosens the scalp, reducing pressure on the perforating vasculature, thereby increasing blood flow and oxygen concentration. So blood flow may therefore be a primary determinant in follicular health. So what happened is, you know, they just, they relaxed these scalp muscles and the hair began to regrow. And this worked very well on par with things like finasteride, an 18% increase uh, between baseline. So I really recommend watching the other videos on this topic so you can understand the whole backstory behind this whole process of the muscles pulling tightly on the scalp, causing scalp tension and thereby scalp compression and that leading to fibrosis and that leading to hair loss and how this procedure of relaxing these scalp muscles led to hair regrowth. So I'm gonna link that video, the main big presentation video down below. If you do have any comments on this topic, leave them down below. I'm 100% going to answer your question, so leave it down below, and I'll see you in the next video.